Hey guys, welcome to the 29th part in this Python tutorial series for beginners and in this one we're going to be doing some slightly more complex things with regular expressions. So in the last one we did some more uh, basic things, just getting you used to some of the more kind of confusing syntax of regular expressions because there's a lot of confusing symbols and things which look very ugly until you sort of understand what they mean. In this one we're going to keep working with that and sort of see if we can understand some even more advanced regular expressions and work with files as well. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. I'm just going to create a new file here and I'm going to save it and I'll call it regular expressions and uh, files because that's what we're working with today and I'm going to save that and first I'm going to import regular expressions again because that's the module that we're using and then what I'm going to do is say the text is equal to open which if you've seen the video on files that I did you'll know that is for opening a text file or really any sort of file and inside it I'm just going to put the name of the file which is called Shakespeare dot text and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a for loop so I've done a video on that as well so if you don't know what a for loop is go and watch that video because I'm not going to cover that here and then I'm going to do for each line inside this text file I'm going to say line is equal to line dot r strip and the reason that I do this is rstrip allows you to remove the new line character from the end of a line. And you might say, well, there's no new line character at the end of a line. Well, there actually is in pretty much any sort of file that you write. So if you look at this file that I'm writing now, for example, there's actually a new line character here. If you, if you were to just look at the raw text being stored in this file on the computer, and then the editor displays that to you as you know move this part of the text to a new line as opposed to the character which it sees so it knows that there's a special character there and when we're reading a file like this text file we have to remove that otherwise our response is going to be a bit weird and just if you're curious the character that it sees is backslash n so I can show you this quickly so if we do print uh, I'm going to do print a string and then this string and then I'm going to do backslash n and then some more what you see is it on two lines because that's the character that you can use for uh, a new line so now that we've got that out of the way I'm going to do if, I'm going to write an if statement so again I did a video on that if you haven't seen that or if you don't know what an if, if statement is go and watch that um, but I'm going to say if line in fact, sorry, I'm going to say if re.search and what I'm going to put here is just the regular expression. So for now I'm just going to leave that as I'm going to say start and then a and then some characters so that's one or more characters and then stop. So I'm going to explain that in a sec but I'm going to finish this first. So. Uh, what you need to put next is the thing that you want it to search through so in this case it's the line variable which we've just uh, defined here well it's defined in this for, for loop but then I've modified it with this rstrip method and then I'm going to simply just print the line so if this search actually returns a value in other words if the line matches the regular expression then print that line so now as you can see it found all the lines and all these lines in particular match this particular regular expression so just to go over this in detail a bit more what this does is it starts and then it, it's seen a capital letter A at the start of the line so all these start with A and then the dot so I didn't do I didn't really explain the dot in the last video but what that is is a wildcard character which means it's going to match anything any one character that it finds and then the plus symbol what that means is it's going to say one or more so it's looking at this wildcard character and saying okay well this wildcard character is going to match one of anything so if it was just 
this, so without the plus, it would match only one wildcard character and then it would be looking to stop because of this dollar sign here. But with the plus it says match one or more of anything and then stop. So all these lines match that regular expression. So let's do another one, uh, sort of a similar example. Let's say this time it starts with T and then I'm going to say it matches one or more of anything, again, so dot plus is one or more. If you wanted it to be zero or more, you could do dot star, but in this case we're doing dot plus, and then I'm going to say it's got to have a lowercase t in the middle of the line, and then we're going to say any character one or more again after that, and then it's going to have a comma, So and then it's going to stop. So what that says is it's going to start with t, and then it's going to find any amount of characters, one or more, and then it's going to look for a lowercase t, and then again any amount of characters, and then a comma, and then it's going to stop. So if we run that, we can see these are all the lines. So if we look at these lines, it's got a capital T, and then it's going to look across. So all these characters here match this dot plus, so any character more more than one or more times and then it find, finds this lowercase t which is matching just the regular t that we put here and then it's going to keep going so the the second dot plus now and then it doesn't matter if it finds more lowercase t's because it's it's not looking for that it's just looking for any character so it goes all the way along until it finds the comma at the end of the line so that was good that was a match and then it ends so that's another example, it's getting a little bit more complicated and we could change this for example, we could do like an exclamation mark and then you know just change it a little bit but then we can get a completely different response already so that's some of the real power of regular expressions. Let's do another example now and I'm going to say uh, it begins with a capital A and then I'm going to do again one or more characters and this time I'm looking for a line that ends in the word again. So I'm trying to find, you know, lines like this last one where it's got a capital A and any amount of characters and then the last word is again. And then I don't really care what this last character is. It could be a comma, it could be a full stop, it could even be an exclamation mark or it could be nothing. So to do that I'm going to do again. So remember capital A and then any number of characters, as long as it's one or more, and then I'm going to say I want one more of any character, which is the dot, and then I'm going to just stop there, because I only want one of any character, so it's going to be a comma or a full stop or something like that probably. So we can run that and we can see again we just get two lines that match, they all have a capital A, and they finish with the word again. So notice that there's not necessarily a comma or an exclamation mark or anything on the end of these. This is just any random character on the end of that because it's matching that dot. Let's do one more and this time it's going to start with any capital letter. Because previously we've just done either an A or a T but what if we want to do any capital letter? So let's go and do any capital letter of the alphabet and for that remember we use the set declaration so we can do a to Z and then we're going to do a new sort of thing which I haven't really shown you before and that's defining how many characters you want. So this is one particular character that can be any capital letter in the alphabet and in the brackets, in the curly brackets here we have to put how many times we want that character to to be found. So let's go ahead and do five So and then we're going to stop and let's run that so now we just get all the capital letter words that match because they've got five characters only and we could do six if we wanted to and then we get all the six letter words that match with the capital and we could still do you know dot uh, zero or more and then we get also the lines that have extra bits of text in them and but what if we wanted to to show all of that? So I want the Romeo and the Juliet 
and all these funny lines as well. So what we can put here is a range. So to do that we can just do say 3 to 6. So that's saying it's looking for lines now that start with any capital letters in the alphabet that appear three or more times. So it could be, you know, A, B, C, for, for example, or A, B, C, D, E, F. So they would both match. And that's what's going to appear now is everything. So it's going to get the five letter words and the six letter words that are capitals and then stop, but also ones that continue and get the rest of the text. So that's a little bit on advanced regular expressions. I hope that wasn't too overwhelming because I know regular expressions can have a very steep learning curve, they're kind of complicated, but hopefully you got a sort of a bit of a better understanding. And in the next one we're going to be talking a bit more about the other built-in modules in Python.